So James here and um, a lot of you may have already known, um, a lot of people are calling it old news already, but the HTC HD2 has a ROM uh, that's available for flashing uh, to upgrade this to Windows Phone 7. The full story can be found on multiple websites, but the one that I like a lot is the xda-developers.com and I like to read the forums and a lot of their announcements. Now granted some of the uh, information doesn't come originally from there but they're part of a larger group of people and they disseminate the information and I mean I tell you it's a really great resource um, well if you speak English I mean there's some other languages you know other forums and other languages but uh, well I speak English so that's the one I read and those guys are just incredibly awesome now the Windows Phone 7 ROM you know when a ROM comes out there's always little issues here and there but I've gotten some I mean they've mentioned that through their hard work they've been able to get all of the other things working that originally were listed to not work so you know what I everyone knows how I hate my phone I mean I love the phone but I hate it I've gone back and forth between Android Windows 6.5 and just different types of home screens and just just driving me nuts so um, I thought why not give this a try I'm not even gonna read a lot about it I'm just gonna jump right in and just follow whatever instructions are on the screen and as a disclaimer don't try this at home I'm not making a how-to guide I'm just a guy that's messing around with my phone so if you do try to follow this make sure you go to the forum search for the Windows Phone 7 information for the HD2 and read every post don't just read one post Read every, I mean, I went in there and I did read a lot of the posts, I, well, all the posts that were up to date. But um, I'm not going to do test runs on this upgrade, I'm just going to do it. But if you decide to do this yourself, I cannot stress more, you may break your phone. Don't follow my video as a guide, read all the information yourself and decide what you want to do. That being said, let's get started. I went ahead and I downloaded all the files that I think I needed from various posts and locations and once again I'm not gonna tell you which one to download because by the time you see this video it might be outdated you gotta go there yourself so here we go let's see what the first step is all right the first thing I'm doing is I'm powering off my phone and just making sure everything is set I guess I'll leave my sim card in there I'm just as a precaution I'm just doing everything I can to make sure this thing is off and I'm going to remove my SD card because Windows Phone 7 during the install will wipe this out and I might want to go back to my other my other Windows ROM so I am going to place in a completely different SD card and let Windows 7 use that so that's step one I'm gonna turn my phone back on and plug it into the USB port now I've turned on my phone and I've plugged in the USB cable right here uh, to my um, I am using a Windows 7 PC now I unlocked my phone however I did not um, unlock the SIM card and let it connect because I really don't want to receive a phone call while I'm doing this now, um, the first thing I'm gonna do is whatever the instruction says and that is to run this ROM update utility in the mag loader 1.12 which came with um, the ROM now, I already have hard SPL installed on my uh, HD2. If you don't know what that is, look up hard SPL or SPL. Those are just letters, SPL. Now, um, my understanding is Windows Phone 7 to flash this doesn't need hard SPL. That's my understanding. But that if I have it installed, it should be all right. This mag loader is actually what we need. And it's supposed to be um, uh, supposed to run, I think, after hard SPL and the boot chain. So it shouldn't have a conflict, but hey, I'm risking uh, breaking my phone. Uh, let's just see what happens. I'm gonna run it right now, and of course, it goes through the standard messages when you upgrade your ROM or add something to them um, to the phone. Uh, I'm gonna say yes because I have it all installed. I mean, all my cables connected, and I am going to click update. This will take approximately 10 minutes. Let's see what the phone does. The phone has 
rebooted itself. And there's my SPL screen right there. Hopefully this works. It says USB, so it hopefully will be picking up the connection again and the updating. Uh oh. Error. Okay, let's figure this out. I think Windows is being stupid and just taking too long to install the driver before the timeout, so we're gonna have to force this thing. Oh look, now it says ready to use after the timeout of the ROM update utility. So that's pretty stupid. So I'm gonna try this again here. That's not gonna work, is it? No, it's not. I wanted to error in timeout to a point where I can actually try to recover it. Come on. There we go. Come on. There we go. So the problem was just the timeout. It was taking too long for my Windows, um, Windows 7 the PC, to install the drivers and connect to this HD2 when it was in that USB mode. Congratulations, your ROM update is now complete. Your phone is ready to use. So that didn't install the Windows Phone 7 ROM, that was the mag loader which was necessary to install the Windows 7 ROM and, and boot to it. So now, wow look at that, we got a mag loader screen. So let's see what the next step is. To install the Leo 7 ROM, uh, mag loader select number 5 USB flasher, and that's the volume down key. Let's see here, I don't know if you guys can see this. So let's see here. Choose the down arrow key to hit. Oh, not down arrow, the down volume key. Use the down arrow key to hit the number five USB flasher. And then hit the green key. Now I'm not gonna hit the green key yet because what's the next step I have to do? I have to run. I'm gonna get ready to run this. I'm going to run the uh, DWI. So I'm gonna get ready to run that. So I'm gonna hit the green key to run the USB flasher and the screen is doing nothing try it again green key there we go USB flasher mode wait I'm gonna run the DWI oh this stupid thing is installing drivers again come on drivers I'm gonna wait for this thing to finish installing drivers installing drivers installing drivers there we go now I'm going to run the DWI. Read carefully. Make sure you read everything. Support the types. Mac little bit to higher. Well, 1.12, excuse me. An installation possible. Okay, good. Click next. This one's 7 ROM. Information. Hard reset. Okay. Keyboard button mapping. I gotta make sure I remember all this later. I won't. I won't remember any of this. Error has occurred. Read below for more information. Error description USB init failed. Okay. Let's try it again. Oh, something else happened now. That was odd. Waiting for USB connection. Well, if it fails once, just try again without reading anything. Installation progress. And on my screen it's doing something so once again don't follow my video as a guide I'm just doing this for the heck of it this is not a guide you might break your phone I might break my phone who knows I don't know how long this is gonna take so I'm just gonna watch it as it's flashing something on the phone it's creating partitions phone's booting up it says congratulations it's complete and let's see it's booting into hard SP uh, not hard SPL excuse me it's booting into something I've never seen before don't know what's going on here oh look dark forces team good job guys um, I think I'll unplug the USB just in case 
So this is starting up for the first time. Let's see the reflection. Of I don't want anyone to see the reflections. I want to see the screen here. Welcome to your Leo 7 Windows phone. Let's get started. Let's start it in English United States. And with the Windows Live ID. To get apps, play games, use a Zoom Pass, automatically sync Windows Live information on the web and more, you need a Windows Live ID. That's the email address you may already use and sign into Zoom, Xbox Live, Hotmail, and Messenger. My understanding is this does not work because this doesn't know it's a Windows, um, uh, HD2 isn't going to work on it. But you know what, I'm going to just try it and see what, what the hell. Oh, don't look at that. I'm trying to sign in. Let's see what it does. Activation failed, so I'll skip that for now. And we are all done. And oh, look at that. Uh, I don't know how this works. Oh, what's this thing here? Hey, there we go. So that's that so far. Now I need to see if I can actually use the phone and set things up. Let's try calling my phone. Oops, well, this thing's doing something. What the hell? I didn't touch anything okay that button works I'm gonna call that phone from this other phone because I got multiple phones and once again I'm doing this live I have not practiced this if, if <laughs> it wouldn't be fumbling so much if I had practiced this I never practice anything let's see here and I'm gonna call my phone point the way just a little bit in case my phone number appears Hang up, so you can't see the number. So it worked. So.